These are four of my favorite fragrances from the Tom Ford Signature line. Now these four fragrances all make really excellent signature fragrances. So fragrances that can be your personal fragrance and a fragrance to wear every day. Now with the Tom Ford brand, there are two fragrance lines. You have the more expensive private blend line, and then you have the cheaper, you could say, although it's still expensive, but you have the cheaper signature blend line. Now these four fragrances, I believe all of them were originally av available in the private blend line so they're all more expensive originally and then Tom Ford discontinues them and brings them back as a signature line so they are a little bit more affordable so starting off with Tom Ford ombre leather I think ombre leather is one of the best signature fragrances you can buy from Tom Ford it's very classy it has a, a masculine sophistication about it and there's something about the way that Tom Ford does leather fragrances that really appeal to me I have tried a few different leather fragrances before from different Different brands. I, I never warm to them as much as I do the Tom Ford leather fragrances. Now, ombre leather doesn't particularly change much on my skin. It's quite linear, so it kind of smells similar in the opening as it does the dry down, so it doesn't take you on that kind of fragrance journey, but it just smells really classy. There's a confidence to this, which I really like because, you know, fragrances can't do a lot of things that people might think tell you they can. A lot of fragrance reviewers will tell you how many compliments they get, all of this stuff. And I think in general, fragrances can't really do much for you apart from just make you smell good. But one thing they can do, and one thing that uh, I really enjoy fragrances, what they can do for me is they give you confidence in certain situations. So normally when I'm wearing ombre leather, a place where I'm kind of dressing up a bit nicer, not even just a formal occasion, but like, you know, just going out for dinner or something like just that. Just dress kind of smart, casual. There's something about wearing ombre leather that just gives you confidence because you know it smells really expensive and you smell quite commanding, masculine, and it's just an amazing fragrance. Ombre leather is a mix of like spices from cardamom and leather, of course, but I think the most important and obvious note is this white floral note. So it could be from something like jasmine, but it just adds... It just complements the leather really well and I find it's an obvious note in ombre leather. I would personally buy this over Tuscan leather and save yourself some money. So up next is Beau de Jour, which translate to Beautiful Day. Now remember I said all of these I think would make excellent signature fragrances, fragrances you can wear to almost every situation and it can be your daily fragrance to wear so people can recognize it as your scent. So Beautiful Day to me just smells like a really perfect spring day. It's spring, it's summery, it's uplifting, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's really beautiful. It has an old school feel to it because it's built like a kind of old school classic fragrance, but it doesn't really smell outdated to me. It just if you're on the younger side and you haven't got that much experience in fragrances, it's certainly one I would try before you buy. Don't buy, I mean, I shouldn't, you shouldn't be blind buying anything really, but you should be trying a fragrance like Beau de Jour definitely before you buy it because it does have this kind of old school feel to it. Now, this is minty lavender, lots of mint, lots of lavender. The lavender is so strong and obvious in here. It smells beautiful. It's very aromatic. It's quite relaxing and mint as well. It gives it this kind of vibrant energy, really great for spring and summer. I pick out uh, geranium. Geranium is a, a fragrance raw material which I have in my perfume making selection. And I don't like the smell of it on its own. It just smells really strong. It's off-putting, very strong smell, but it has a kind of rose-like smell to it. And I really picked it up in here. So this is like a kind of rosy smell with lavender and with mint and with some kind of oak mossy woody notes in the dry down. This can be worn to literally any situation. It's really casual, but it's fresh and it's vibrant and it really shines in the spring and summer. This is Beau de Jour. Now up next, this is my least favorite in this selection of four fragrances. My favorite fragrance is the last one, so you have to wait for that. But this is my probably my least favorite out of these four. It's Costa Azura Parfum. Could have included the original in here as well, but I probably slightly prefer this Parfum version. This is quite a difficult fragrance to where in a way it's a bit more unique. It's a summer based fragrance, so it's quite fresh and it's a fragrance that you would wear in the kind of spring and summer, but it's unique and it's a bit more of a challenge to wear than your typical kind of aquatic and marine fragrances. It's very woody with some kind of green, sharp green nuances. There's no sweetness in here. There's not really any like marine notes, which you would come to, which you might expect in a fresh summer fragrance. So those typical notes that you get in your summery fragrances are not in here. So it's a unique take on fresh summer fragrances. And if you want something that's different to wear in the high heat, 
this is going to be great for you. But to me, it's just quite, the, the woody notes are quite strong. It's got like an oak wood note and it's really quite strong. And I, I feel like it's missing something that it would make it more enjoyable to me. So if it added like a salty note or added some aquatic marine notes, I think I might find it more enjoyable. But it's a really dry wood mixed with these green notes. And there's a hint of lemon as well. However, the lemon note is kind of drowned out by this strong woody smell. But it is there and it does add a slight freshness to it. So this is my least favorite out of the four, but now we're gonna look at my favorite out of these four fragrances, and, it, and I might have just found my new signature scent. So this is a new release. This is Oud Mineral. This was another one that was discontinued years ago from the Private Blend line and reimagined and brought back in the Signature line. I have not tried the original, so I'm not going to be able to do any comparisons at all, but I absolutely love this. It's so, it's so unique and daring, but it has a real addictive quality. It might just be my new favorite Signature scent. Now, as a someone who owns a sample company, VisionaryFragrances.com, and somebody who reviews fragrances all the time, it's difficult to have a Signature scent because I'm always testing stuff. I'm always buying new fragrances from, for the website and also to do reviews for you. It's hard to have like a signature scent you wear all the time. But when I've been wearing this, I've just absolutely loved it. It really gels off my skin. I feel like this fragrance was, was kind of made for, for me. That's how you should feel when you want a signature scent. This has oud in it, but I don't like oud in fragrances. It's so, not a note that I pick up on. I just know that, you know, it's called oud mineral. It has like an oud note in, but it smells more kind of woody. It's like an airy wood mixed with marine notes, mixed with some saltiness. It's just beautiful. It's fresh and easy to wear, but also has a challenging side as well. So it's woody, marine and salty and just beautiful. To me, this smells really masculine. The airy woods and the saltiness give it this kind of masculine vibe and also so you have this sort of spiciness. There's a spiciness from Pink Peppercorn. And overall, I just think this works really well as a signature scent. You can wear this in the spring, summer, winter. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you can wear this. But you do need to enjoy this kind of uh, masculine woody scent. I think if you're looking for something a bit more soft and sweet, you would not like this. It's clean, it's masculine, and it's slightly daring. So these were four fragrances from the Tom Ford signature line, which you could wear as a signature scent. My favorite, of course, is Tom Ford Mineral. All of these would work wonderful as your individual set. Let me know which one is your favorite.